put his hands behind his back and leaned over and looked at him right in the eye. And I've never seen a dog do this, but I swear he went two feet straight up in the air. <laughs> and, and of course, Tommy went back. Ah! <laughs> she went up to her very slowly and just knelt down, didn't see anything, and just put her hand out and started just talking softly. And Jesse came up and just almost fell in her lap. And those two were, they, 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 they didn't know each other at all, and they were such a pair at the National. Jesse wouldn't take her eyes to you know, the other, and I was really Yeah. dog or bitch to your breeding program, what dog would it be in and why? And he had this huge barn and, and we went up in it and he must have had 30 bitches that all came and breeded us. That was the secret. Well, you had just told a story about um, uh -huh. Anne Cross and eating uh -huh. your corsage. Yeah. Well, <laughs> Anne didn't eat the corsage. My puppy. <laughs> your, your puppy ate her corsage. She took his head in her hands like this, and she said, Oh, Barbara, what a sweetheart. You love him, don't you? And I said, Oh, I adore him. <laughs> <laughs> and she said, This is how she did it. And... It was wonderful to, for me. I mean, she yeah. critiqued him in the way that I felt that he was still the most wonderful dog in the world. But, but you know, I had something to, to, you know, to aim for. So that, that's my story to leave us here. Bless her heart. So Barbara, you are a person of faith. How has that been an integral part of your breeding program and your lifestyle calls? Well, I... I think the collies are just perfect for it because they, to me, they are the epitome of love, which is what any faith is. 